Dear friends, today I am going to speak about most ancient language, Tamil. Through the historic evidences, Tamil is considered as the most ancient language of the world. It is a member of Dravidian family. Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada are the four main Dravidian origin languages. Ancient Dravidian language is known as Padan Tamil. About a few months ago, our respectable Defence Minister Amisha spoke in Chennai. Chennai. Tamil is the most ancient language. Whole of Indians proud about our nation's ancient Tamil language. He appealed the state government of Tamil Nadu to start through the medium of Tamil, MBBS, Engineering and other professional courses. Kerala's Malayalam language's modern form began about 1000 years ago before its form was common Dravidian form. Once upon a time, Tamil was a prevalent in Kerala. In ancient Tamilagam, Kerala was also a part of it. It is known as Cheram. Chera, Chola, Pandya and Pallava. These are once known as Tamil Kingdoms. In Tamilagam, today's Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Pondicherry, Lakshadweep, and southern parts of Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka included. It is considered that Mani Meghala, Chilapadi Gairam, both the Tamil literature are originated in Kerala. Mani Meghala is written in between 2nd century and early 19th century. Chilapadi Gairam is written in 2nd century. Tamil language possesses different variations in pronunciation. Today's Tamil pronunciation is different in Nagar Koyil, Madurai, Tanjavur, Coimbatore, and Chennai Estra. Tamil Nadu government recognizes Tanjavur's Tamil pronunciation as model pronunciation. Very long years, Madurai was known as the center of Tamil literature. Tanjavur also was a center for uh, Tamil language and culture. Ancient Chera Kingdom, Pandya Kingdom and Chola Kingdom gave much patronage for Tamil language and literature. In ancient time, that means before Ramayana and Mahabharata's period, about BC 25,000 to 50,000, a continent existed south part of India, touching south, south India to Africa's Madagascar Islands in the southwest and touching Southeast part Australia. This is a continent contained Sri Lanka. 
this matrix indication we can get from ancient test of tolkapiyam sri lanka's mahavamsham and divamsham and certain hindu puranas this a continent was known as kumari kandam in this kumari kandam 49 tamil kingdoms existed very ancient times this a continent possess a great range as like a himalaya a great river existed as like a river ganga that river is known as pagalvi the banks of river pagalvi a city existed that city was known as then madurai it is near to australia touching part of kumari kandam it was the first tamil center it was the first tamil sangams center either due to melt melting ice of north pole and the south pole or any other matter australia stretching part of kumari kandam continent sunk in the ocean then africa's madagascar touching parts city that was a known as kadapura that kadapura became tamil sangam's second center either due to north poles and south poles ice melting or other matter africa's madagascar touching part of kumari kandam sank in the ocean after so many thousands of years then uh, then now existing tamil nadu states madurai become third tamil sangam center kumari kandam continent many evidences got through excavations in the indian ocean popularly historians believed that mankind originated from africa kumari kandam's continents matter supporting some of the historians arguing that mankind's origination happened in the kumari kandam continent then spread all over the world among the historians popularly considered that central asia as a caspian sea is surrounded lived aryans eight clans certain eight clans certain groups traveled westwards and certain gangs traveled eastwards eastwards traveled aryans on that time indus valleys and northern parts of india and all over india lived dravidians aryans through war defeated dravidians of indus valley and north india thus dravidians who are lived in the indus valley and the north part of india gone to south part of india some group of dravidians have gone to south west part of indus valley they are lived they are living iran's baluchistan those people's language possess similarity with today's tamil and south indian languages some groups of dravidians lived in some parts of north india itself these are groups today's language possess similarity with the tamil and the south and the south indian languages
Tamil language and literature due to Tamil Tamilagam ages patronages of so many rulers and patronages of so many rulers of modern age and ancient Tamil literary services my great Tolkapier, Agastir and his spouse's service, Kambay service, Thirvalluve services, modern literatures, Subramanya Bharati, Bharati Dasa Estra, Estra Persons Contributions, Tamil literature got great growth. Jai Bharat.